Hi, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. In today's reading, I'm going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, so messages might not resonate for all of you. You'll know if you're reading, if you feel like you can connect with the messages. Um, if not, however, just don't force fit it. Try and let it flow. Um, to those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, bear with me. Okay, so we do have these cards that have just flown out of the deck. At the bottom is the Ten of Wands energy. The Ten of Wands is your energy, right? Um, it feels like your energy is really weighted down by something um, right now. Maybe you feel like you have a lot going on. Maybe you feel like you have a lot on your plate. Um, it's also like an energy of playing your cards close to your chest. Um, being very self-contained um there's definitely some it's like a i don't know it just feels like you're feeling very tired of something maybe you're tired of the way things are maybe you're just tired of the same circumstances maybe you're tired of i don't know the relationship or the situation you find yourself in it's this you're feeling very fatigued um you're doing too much of what exhausts you and you're not doing enough of what excites you of what you know brings you happiness of what um of the things that you enjoy um there's also something that i feel like is a very strong uh presence of tension or conflict in the energies here with the knight of swords maybe you feel like you have something to say you you want to you want to get something off your chest maybe you feel like you want to you know speak the truth or you finally want to tell this person what you think of them um or maybe this is an energy where there's someone around you who you feel like this person is just committed to misunderstanding you you just feel like there's this clash of personalities or even a clash of egos or you just feel like this person is someone who aggravates or agitates your energy and just being around them puts you in um being around them puts you in a bit of an off energy or you feel like this person has this way about them like they have this off energy that and, and when you spend too much time around this person their energy kind of transfers onto you that kind of off energy that kind of you know um i guess bitter or brooding kind of energy um this could also indicate that there is some sort of conversation that is going to turn a little bit sour um, a conversation that you might have with someone that is going to turn a little bit feisty i feel like it's going to be a little tense a little too tense there's tension there's conflict there's you know maybe you guys are arguing maybe you're misunderstanding each other misinterpreting what each other is saying but I don't think it's going to end well i think things are going to be a little bit awkward or a little bit tense um i feel like this person whoever this person is they could be trying to pick a battle pick a fight with you they could just be someone who's argumentative by nature and someone who just wants to argue for the sake of arguing or maybe you are right, this person has some sort of personal vendetta against you. So heads up for that. There is someone who I think is trying to, I don't know, in a way I feel like maybe this person is trying to get your attention. Six of Wands energy, I do think that you're moving forward with something. I think that there is something here that you might potentially start that is going to be very successful. I also feel like um, some of you are going to be receiving praise recognition or a reward or an award of some sort uh this is you leveling up uh career wise i do think you're receiving a promotion or you're being finally you know awarded rewarded acknowledged for your hard work your efforts and your contribution to something here um but it also could be you like you're stepping into this energy where you're a lot more confident a lot more assertive and people are taking notice some there's some things that are changing about you maybe it all has to do with you you know being really over the way things are that you're so determined and motivated to change things for yourself to improve your situation 
you know, and not play that victim uh, blame game. I think that there's there's a situation in which I feel like people are looking up to you. They're looking up to you as a leader. So maybe you are taking on a leadership or a, an authority role of some sort. Um, or otherwise they're looking up to you to, it's like they're looking up to, to you to see how you did it. There may be something that you have accomplished here that people are going to be really inspired by and they may ask you how you did it. With the Five of Pentacles energy, I think there's a situation here that on the surface it looks like it looks like something has failed or it looks like it's a hopeless situation but the way that the pentacles are lined up in that church state window like that tells us to it asks of us to hold on to hope or to maybe look at things and see what's the you know what's the upside to the situation or the good from in the situation because i feel like the situation itself feels dire circumstances and it feels like um it's a loss of some sort but i do think there's something to be gained from it whether it's a lesson or whether it's um trying to teach you something i feel like there's something to be gained from out of the situation um or even like an idea i don't think things are as hopeless as they seem is what i'm trying to say i don't think that i think it's all perspective i think it all depends on how you look at it you know if you look for the bad in things you'll only ever see the bad um, but if you look for the good, no matter how bad the circumstances, you'll see the good, right? So there's something here that I feel like the universe wants you to know that you're going through it for a reason. It might feel challenging and testing, but there is a lesson to be learned here. And there's something to be gained from this. What seems like a loss is really a gain. If you just look for what is it that can be gained from out of this. Because I do think there's something here that you're going through that is shaping you. It's shaping you. It's growing you. It's strengthening you. And I do think that there is some circumstances here that you might have recently come across or you will come across that do feel like they're a little hopeless or they do feel like they're, you know, um, they're tearing you down. So some of you might experience a job loss or... Um, this could be the loss of a relationship or something he comes undone for you and it feels like it's weakening you but it's not it's actually strengthening you there's some and it also the universe is also asking you that during this time you tap into your inner strength your inner power your inner resilience okay you tap into that because whatever this is remember it's only temporary this, look at that snowy conditions in the five of pentacles it doesn't snow or rain forever right eventually the sun will peak back out so this is only temporary this too shall pass is the message that's coming through strongly there is a strong hermit energy some of you might feel like you're calling into hermit energy uh this form hermit mode and you may feel like um you really need the next i don't know three to six months to really focus on yourself or you feel like you really just want to shut yourself off from the world and just really laser focus on something here or you just may feel like you know you're a little less chatty a little less social and that's okay okay um listen to what your mind and your body wants um you may also find that there's something there's someone that you're connected to becomes a little closed off or naturally just reserved it's nothing that you say or do. I do think that this it's more this person's nature. I do think from time to time this may be someone who's like naturally introverted and from time to time they do just need to, you know, go into this hermit mode where they need time on their own. They need, you know, being around too many people or doing too many social activities just drains them. So, you know, don't take it personal. Um, this person will come back around. It's just that and this, it's nothing you said or done. Uh, they're not really acting weird. It's just that that is that's that's them, and you will grow to learn that. That you know they kind of need their own space, their um, physical and emotional space. I feel like your intuition is also very strong, and your intuition is very much on point right now. So you know anything that you're able to intuit about a person or about a situation, you're probably right and um 
especially if you're a female watching this you know a woman's intuition is a very powerful thing um, but that goes you know it's the same message for you if you're a male watching it it's just this strong intuitive ability or this strong intuitive energies where your intuition is just really sharp and you're really uh, able to tap in here energy doesn't lie so if you feel like you're getting a certain energy or a certain vibe about someone or something listen to it because it's trying to warn you or guide you okay don't ignore it all right guys these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now